What's a hotel, hey? <laughs> Isn't the hotel amazing? The only thing that crosses my mind when I walk around this hotel is that they could have built 30 incubators for the same money <laughs> and they would still have 30 million dollars left for seed money. Did I say seed? Seed money is important. Before I go any further, I would like a round of applause for Burak and his team. To me, this is the premier event, along with Startup Istanbul in Turkey, about entrepreneurship. Burak's Etohum and friends. Burak and friends, where's you? <laughs> now, some things change in Turkey, some things remain the same. Burak is the same, the logo is the same, Etohum is the same, the music is the same. I had it changed with one tweet. And the opening speaker is the same. Gandalf, Schmandalf. We should have another opening speaker. I'm not going to give you a comprehensive rundown of the problems in the ecosystem, but uh, I will mention some of the recurring problems. We still have no real investment for R&D in Turkey. So a lot of the entrepreneurs talk about applications, mobile, e-commerce. Not much on the way of hardware. Universities are not spending energy on commercializing technology with a few exceptions that I met here today. In fact, universities don't even teach coding. They don't teach presentation skills. They don't teach group skills. They don't teach research skills. They don't teach skills that are necessary for basic entrepreneurship, in fact, for any kind of career. Corporations are not in the game. Corporate entrepreneurship is a no-no in Turkey and corporations are very hesitant to finance new economy startups. The state is a different story. They gave with one hand, such as tax breaks for angels, and they take away with another hand, such as number one in Twitter censoring in the world. And if you ask me what the biggest problem in Turkey is, uh, no seed money. Did I say that before? No seed money, that's important. News aren't all that bad, though. I've uh, looked at the recent news, and we've had an entrepreneurship summit. We've, we're, it seems that we have many entrepreneurship summits in different locations, mostly universities. Guilt Academy is starting a boot camp. Uh, Lean Startup Factory has just announced the next round for admissions. Um, just noticed useinsider.com received funding. I think that's important because they also do business abroad. Hepsi Broda received 100 million from Abraj. I think that's important because it's international money coming into Turkey, a very welcome change. Uh, by the way, Hepsi Broda has uh, over a billion in revenue. They're doing quite well. Also, uh, just recently announced, Modernisa received five and a half million dollar uh, funding, three and a half coming from abroad. I, I find that quite interesting and valuable. I also liked COSA receiving funding from Revo because it is a hardware company, somewhat out of the ordinary. And uh, we have been picked as the number one potential, number nine potential country in e-commerce with a 25 to 30% annual growth expected. I find that also very positive, um, plus this event. By the way, everything that I mentioned happened just last week, okay? Everything I mentioned happened in one week. So we're not quite in the sort of infancy stage anymore, we're sort of learning how to crawl. If you go back a little further, Entrepreneurship Foundation, Girishim Jirik Wakfu, took 40 fellows to Israel, which I think is a, is a very interesting initiative. And if you look a little bit further into the future, birds tell me, I can't really give you my source or the exact details, but we're going to actually break the exit record in Turkey. We're going to have a um, seven-digit exit. I won't tell you in which currency. It will be announced pretty soon. So I think the Turkish entrepreneurship ecosystem is alive and is getting better. Um, and all the meetings I've had here today, the chance meetings, running into people, uh, tell me that there is will and there is initiative 
to push it further. I'm also trying to do my piece. Those of you who follow me on Twitter may have seen this, but I wrote an article on how to improve the Turkish entrepreneurial ecosystem, and I posted it on my blog, and I invited comments. I want to turn this into a wiki article, uh, which will be enriched by contributions from entrepreneurs and uh, investors, and my intent is to share this with all political parties. I think we have an opportunity to set the agenda for entrepreneurship politics in Turkey because parties don't really know what to do. They're looking to us. So it's an opportunity. So help me help you. The article also includes a proposal which starts with a new Ministry of Entrepreneurship, a University of Entrepreneurship, a um, graduate school only, high-tech, high-impact entrepreneurship, and with uh, a network of 20 incubators across the country. And these incubators, what I have in mind is first floor will have classrooms, conference rooms, meeting rooms. The second floor will have maybe 100 or 200 computers for people to learn to code. This is for high school K-12 students. The next floor will be an incubator slash accelerator, and the next floor will be a techno park. And then you will fly from the fourth floor up. Uh, currently, I'm looking for either a philanthropist to finance this project, or a person with a business initiative, and this is my guerrilla pitch. Now, my advice, if I were to give advice to individuals here, my advice to entrepreneurs would be do not overprice your startup. No one is going to give you half a million euros for 20% now. Think Turkish liras, think 200,000, 100,000. Do not overprice. I never heard anything under a million yet, okay? Everybody wants a valuation of more than a million dollars. Um, I don't think Turkey is there yet. So my advice to entrepreneurs is go easy on your demands. My advice to angels is stop acting like VCs. This is where entrepreneurs are supposed to applaud, by the way. <laughs> do not ask for revenue. Take a flyer and do spend time with the entrepreneurs. Remember, they're coming to you for smart money. They're not just coming to you for money. You need to spend half a day, at least two hours every week with the entrepreneurs. My advice to the universities is get in the game. No applause, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, we have a wonderful lineup of speakers and um, I'm really looking forward to the next day and a half and I'll see you tomorrow at the Angel Investor Prizes Ceremony. Thank you.